Hello you guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. This is Shadi39. So I do not have my lashes on or bang 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 earrings and all this other stuff. And you know I'm talking about um so anyway, a few minutes ago I had uploaded some different hairstyles. Um I think I originally started off with this one when I first showed you guys what you could do with it. You know, just put in a straight donut. Um, and the other video below was only like 34 seconds, which I really didn't mean to do that. I meant to like put it with this one and y'all I'm still learning, okay? I'm still learning, but regardless, I'm doing this for y'all. So whether or not I'm still learning, I'm doing it for you guys. So just to kind of cover this, I've been having this in for one month now. And I know I told you guys I was going to give you, what was it, a two week update? Well, I got kind of busy with some other things so I was not able to do that so I'm doing a one month update even better right so the one month update is that it's still holding up um, some of the mousse that I was using though I'm completely out so I'm just gonna tell you guys like if you get your mousse and you want to use it I suggest you use it because there are a lot of flyaways so look for one that definitely has moisturization in it and the reason why I say that is because your hair is braided in with this hair regardless if it's not less box braids or regular box braids your hair is in with this hair so you don't want to go get you some mousse that is like hardener or something or just you know doesn't have the right things in it and then you find yourself with matted hair once it's time to take these out because after about another month it's time to take these things out okay um what can i say about it um I've been enjoying it. I mean, other than the fact that um, it's long, it's 40 inches. So in the other video, you can see where it drops down to almost to my knees. So it's kind of like, how can I put it, when you're going to the toilet, you have to wash the hair. So that's why I kind of always keep it up in this look. So that way, when I have to go to the bathroom, I don't have to deal with all that. Now, I'm not saying I always wear it like that. It just depends what the situation is. What's another thing about it? I'm giving you all the cons for the pros, right? Cons is that if you have baby fine hair like I do, you have to constantly keep using your edge control, and I prefer this one. Um, it is Edge Effect Mega Hold number four. They do have a number five, which will hold it a little bit better. Also, as you can see, it looks like it's red, you know, flared up. It's not what I did. What I just did was I sprayed it with, um, the sheen oil that I have that I told you guys you definitely want to use some type of oil if you don't have a sheen oil get you some organ oil just something to definitely make sure that you are taking care of your scalp area always make sure your scalp is taken care of because that is what's most important these braids are not gonna be in forever you may want to put them back in but you need some hair to put them back in okay you guys so a lot of y'all think okay well I mean I got them in so what yeah you got them in but you want to make sure when they come out that you can you know wherever your hair stops at like I wish I didn't even see just see what I think so like on this one at the very bottom of my hair which is like my nape area the hair stops right here okay so you can see that so that's where this mousse is gonna help for the fly away but also, when you go to like cut it out, I always say start high up, like about up here, even higher. And that way you're not actually cutting your own hair out. Um, like I said, it's been holding up, you guys, other than the fact that sometimes I have to come back and gel it back down because it starts lifting up. And I didn't do the best for the look with my little, you know, edge control this morning, but that's okay. I'm just trying to update you guys on the look. Um, like I said, I think I did tell you I washed it. Yeah, I washed it for the first time about a couple of weeks ago, and I was shocked because none of them came out because I was thinking, oh, okay, it's like crochet, braid look. You know, even though I know it's in my head, it's still like, oh, I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm shampooing my hair, conditioning my hair. I'm under all this water, but it held up, you guys. So it's lightweight. Now, sometimes, you know, you will find your head, especially when it's a donut. Like this going this way that way so sometimes I do take it down to alleviate the stress of the neck area all together though you guys I'm enjoying it I love the different looks I can achieve with it 
Um, it's fun sometimes just to be stupid with it and just like, like I had on the other one, a donut here, a donut there. And just keep, just, you know, make it fun, make it desirable. Um, it's whatever you want out of it. I'm thinking about, um, I'm looking at different styles. I don't know yet, so let me not even tell y'all that because I don't like to lie to you guys and tell y'all I'm going to do it this way, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to wait to decide what look I'm going to do because I'm trying to actually attempt to start doing my own hair again, like with um, braided style. So I've been practicing on my little mannequin. And I see, you know, it's, it's a little difficult, but at the same time, you know, you have to practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. So that's what I would suggest you guys do. Like, I mean, your first time, yes, go to hair styles if you can't handle this because it does take a long time. Now, like I said, you don't have to go with 40 inches or like these other girls might put on there. They go 80 inches. You don't have to do all that. It doesn't have to be that long. You can choose to have a shorter style and just cut stops right here. And that's even better for beginners because when you're doing your own hair, you know, you just part it and then start like that. And the reason why I say my hair is fine is because, as you can see, you can see my fingers right through my hair. Um, so that's why when I did the, um, the crochet braids, I had my daughter do them. I explained to you guys that a good thing to do is if you have maybe fine hair like I do or just thin hair or whatever type of hair you have, use some, if I'm saying the right, Kanikalon hair, put it in with that one, you know, and then box braid it in. And then just um, make you cornrows going backwards or whatever style you're trying to achieve so you can lay it down. Um, I might do a little look on my mannequin just to show you guys what I'm talking about because I want to like keep y'all updated I'm really doing I'm, I'm sorry that it took like a whole month to update you guys on this look um so I told you about the cons the pros I mean like I said I'm enjoying it I love it um I like that you can wash it um what I did the last time like when I first washed it which is the only time that I washed it um after I washed it you know I tried to take a towel and wad it like you know, da, 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 da. okay that was not working because we're talking 40 inches of hair so I had to use my blow dryer and people will tell you don't use a blow dryer look it was a lifesaver because I had somewhere I had to go so that blow dryer saved me because what I did was I used the blow dryer and once I used the blow dryer my hair was dry within about 20-25 minutes it was still had some wetness to it but all together it was blow dried, so it doesn't make you have to go outside with that wet look. Um, I'm sure there's some things I've been missing. I still use this, you guys, believe it or not, you know, the ones I use in my wig. And basically the reason for that is because you will have itchiness. You find yourself like, and I'm not like those girls like, I can't do that. Okay, I'm not with all of that, like giving myself a headache. So I do scratch sometimes. Um, so instead of having a scratch, like I said, this apple cider vinegar root relief, it soothes itching and irritation. So you might want to invest in it also. I know there are some things I missed, you guys. I'm doing this really, 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 really fast, but um, I'm sorry about that. But um, it's a great look. I mean, and it's like I said, it took about eight to eight and a half hours because I did the 40 inches, okay? But if you're going for a shorter look, it won't take that long at all. I promise you, you guys, like it won't. Um, and I did put some different colors in it, you know, because I tried to go with the complexion of my skin. But, you know, if you want to go all black, it's cool. If you want to do some other different colors, a 613, push it in with a 27, whatever you're trying to achieve. Do it. You want to be a gypsy girl, do it. You want to put some different little things in it, like... I'm gonna use like string like this and just put it in. Do what you gotta do. Like I said, I'm gonna be probably doing um, a little video. Hopefully, maybe over the weekend sometimes. Just kind of showing you how I do my box braid look. I don't know if I'm gonna do box braids or, um, and I'm not talking about on my head, on my mannequin, okay? Because of course, I'm keeping these in for another month. Yeah, it lasts for about two months. We're gonna see, but it lasts, it's been lasting. So I will definitely tell y'all that it does last. Um, the only thing is I ran out of mousse because of it being so long. And me trying to keep my flyaways down. It's kind of like, you know, like I said, you can see the flyaways. But when you put that mousse in, it's supposed to just lay it where it looks like you just got it done. So that's why I said invest in a good moisturizing one. But also make sure that it's holding it down as well. 
and not holding it down to where your hair starts getting matted because the most important thing about braids or anything as I tell you guys before when you're trying to do something with your hair is to make sure that your hair underneath is protected there's no point in doing these styles if your hair is not growing underneath so if I'm starting to see that my hair right here was not right here right now and it was all the way down here it'd be coming out my hair okay so anyway you guys that's what I wanted to kind of update you guys on I put my lashes on should have did that before but that's okay it's not all about the lashes you see you have to know how to keep your lashes too when you put those on some people don't even have them so that's another thing we're gonna update I'm gonna update you guys on is how to keep your lashes on. I know I went over that before but it seemed like some of y'all are not listening because I see people on like from my Facebook pages they don't have no lashes at all and I'm like oh my god they're really relying on these lashes to pull them through because they're cute I get it but you gotta protect yours y'all y'all gotta protect yours so anyway you guys if I missed something I'm sorry put in the comment box that y'all need some more information I'll be more than happy to give it to you guys uh, anyhow, anywho, like I said, I did the 34 minutes, second, uh, 34 minutes, not even 34 minutes, sorry, 34 seconds that was supposed to be incorporated with this. So I do apologize for that. Um, give a big ups for that though anyway because I did show y'all some different looks. And hopefully y'all like this little review I did for you guys. And until next time, um, please, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel, you guys. And, um... Try to go over, like I said, some other things that you, you, you know, you guys later. Um, I know it's been, like I said, over a month, like a month now. And I'm getting a little rusty because I've been just relying on these, you know. But I do take care of them. But anyway, till next time, this is Shade 39 Loving y'all and all that other good stuff. And I hope to see y'all next time whenever I do my next review on what I told y'all I was going to probably do on my mannequin. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, you guys. Y'all have a great day. Bye.